Welcome to the weekly Ransomware Roundup, your weekly summary about all things ransomware, data protection, data security, backup and DR, storage, and cloud. As always, the links for these news stories can be found in the description below. Without further ado, this is the Roundup for the third week of June, 2022. EHRX Ransomware, also known as QNAP Crypt, is targeting QNAP NAS devices in another wave of attacks on the devices. Cybersecurity researchers started noticing the attacks soon after QNAP published an advisory for three CVE-listed vulnerabilities that allow attackers to inject malicious code or perform remote code execution. The Taiwanese NAS manufacturer has once again urged their customers to update the firmware to avoid getting attacked. Speaking of new wave attacks, experts have spotted a new phishing email campaign that delivers Matan Bukas ransomware to drop Cobalt Strike beacons on compromised machines. Matan Bukas is a malware as a service initiative that launches executables directly into system memory. The malware's features include launching custom PowerShell commands, leveraging standalone executables to load DLL payloads, and establishing persistence via the addition of task schedules. Chinese hackers used a zero-day exploit for a critical severity vulnerability in Sophos Firewall to compromise an unnamed South Asian company and breach its cloud-hosted web servers. The threat actors used the zero-day exploit to install web shell backdoors and malware that infects external systems outside the network protected by Sophos Firewall. With ransomware groups constantly using zero-day exploits and vulnerabilities to attack your system and networks, Business continuity and disaster recovery planning has become necessary for any organization's ability to survive. We've compiled a comprehensive guide that covers the difference between business continuity and disaster recovery and how to plan and implement a BCDR strategy to help you make an informed decision. Link in the description. ShopRite Holdings, Africa's largest supermarket chain, has been hit by a ransomware attack. Last Friday, the company disclosed that they suffered a security incident warning customers in Eswatini, Namibia and Zambia that their personal information might have been compromised in the attack. Ransom House Ransomware Gang claim responsibility for the attack, posting an evidence sample of 600 gigabytes of data they claim to have stolen from the retailer. Experts have reported that new malware gang Blue Mockingbird is exploiting three-year-old Telerik UI vulnerabilities to install Cobalt Strike Beacons and mine Monero by hijacking system resources. The exploited flaw is CVE 2019-18935, a critical severity deserialization that leads to remote code execution in the Telerik UI library. Cobalt Strike deployment then allows easy lateral movement within the compromised network, data exfiltration, account takeover, and deployment of more potent payloads such as ransomware. Lastly, the promo of the week. Get a 70 terabyte, expandable up to 4 petabyte, fully turnkey air-gapped and immutable Veeam, Rubrik, Comvault, Site Recovery, Backup and DR Appliance with Object Lockdown Technology for Ransomware Protection for $7,995. That's it for this week's Roundup. Stay safe. See you next week.